This is the NR38AK Hitachi, well now Metabo HPT nailer. The trigger valve section. This is your standard pneumatic uh, nailer where your trigger has O-rings in there and you can inspect them, make sure they're not worn or damaged. Uh, th this trigger here, it has two roll pins, one roll pin here, one roll pin here. And once you take those roll pins out, you can go on the inside and you see you can see the inside, you can see the bottom of the trigger there. Once you take those roll pins out, just push your trigger out. When you do push your trigger out, there is a small spring on the end, uh, underneath this plunger. Make sure you don't lose that when, it, when the whole assembly comes out. Uh, one other thing, when troubleshooting the tool, if the tool does not uh, engage or it doesn't, act, it doesn't cycle, sometimes this plate on the end underneath here, that plate may get really worn, it may get dimples in there where the plate will not engage the plunger enough to make it cycle so if that plate is kind of worn if you can if you've got the tool and you're trying to troubleshoot it it will not engage just by pulling the trigger go ahead and in your test area actuate just the plunger itself and if the tool cycles check that plate make sure that plate doesn't have see that like this one here has a nice real hard wear spot on the end there that might make it to where the plunger or the plate won't engage the, the tool. So I'm just changing out that plate by knocking out this roll pin, the roll pin right here, knock out that roll pin, and then change out that plate. This tool is pretty simple, basic pneumatic tool design with the O-rings, the cylinder, and all that good stuff. The only part that's really tricky is this valve right here. This valve has a spring inside here and it's pretty tricky to get it in and out. But actually, it's really simple once you know how to do it. We've taken this tool apart right now to where we can take this valve off. We take the valve off, move it off to the side there. And the first thing we're gonna do is take out this pin. We'll knock this pin out here. You may have to tap it out with a hammer. Uh, just don't lose it. We'll take that out. We're gonna pull this plunger out a little bit to where I can actually push this arm back. Put, push that arm back so I can grab a hold of it. There we go. Put my finger over that hole a little bit because that spring pops out. It may, I don't know, I'm not sure if it'll jump all the way out, but just in case, I don't wanna lose it. There, there's that spring that everybody has a hard time with. Now we can safely pull out that plunger and this plunger, inspect the, uh, the, the bushing itself, the O-rings and the plungers, make sure everything is okay, good to go. To put it back together, uh, it's really simple. This slot right here, this arm that is gonna go into it like that on the end when, once it's put together. So this slot has to go up and down when you put it in here. So that goes up and down. And then we're going to put our spring back in here. Oops. Put our spring right there. And what I have here is a Schrader valve tool. You can, get, you can buy online. This, this, is the, this tool is used on the, uh, the air spring tools to take the Schrader valve out, but it's just your basic Schrader valve tool. The diameter of this shaft is perfect for this. And also it has a little slot in here when you're putting this arm back in the arm likes to go up into that slot and, and ride up over the spring, so it's, it makes it a little easier. So we're gonna push this spring evenly down, and we're gonna push this arm in here, and let up a little bit so it will go over it, and there it goes, it goes right up on top of the spring. And then we're gonna push it in, and push it in enough to where now we can see through the hole, we can see through the hole, and we're gonna put our pin back in, that pin back in there we go make sure that's in all the way there we go all right now we have to put this other plunger in this arm we have to push down on the arm so that foot goes up and put this other plunger in and there it's back together again and then we can put it back on the tool and reassemble the tool. Good to go. Have a good one.